Hi there, hi campers. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another video. I'm back out for a camp, but this time I'm in the car. I've got my MSR tent set up there, just watch, just in the process of setting it up still. I've got me my, uh, my tarp living quarters uh, there. And uh, yeah, just midway through setting up. Um, Tim, rough timber set up over there. He's just gone out on his canoe for a paddle. There's a few other fellas joining us throughout the remainder of today. It's only just come up to one o'clock in the afternoon now. So yeah, it's lovely daylight, lovely weather. And I'm on a glorious campsite on the Suffolk Norfolk border. It's called um, Free Rivers Pitch and Paddle because you've got a river just the other side of that bank in there and just over there as well but I'll show you around camp throughout my uh, two nights stay here got some good food some good drink a bit of banter a bit of fun and looking forward to it looking forward to uh, sleeping in this tent as well I haven't slept in this tent for a long long time this is my um MSR Elixir 2 I've had it several years now um, and I've, but I've not had it out for a good couple of years so I thought it deserved an outing um, really like it, really good bit of kit um, just don't don't use it enough unfortunately but yeah I'm going to leave you there for now though and I'm going to finish getting my shelter and living quarters set up and I'll bring you back Sleeping bag. More blank here. All close. There we go then folks, got food and kitchen quarters set up there, got some wood in there, far up for later and a bit of a table and then in the tent I'm glamping, got a nice comfy sleeping set up, little bedside table, we grabbed two season sleeping bag and then I bought this uh, sheepskin at the wilderness gathering in August not used it yet so I'm going to be sleeping on that tonight and I've got the wall blanket underneath that my ground mat and then my foam pad there and then my usual pillow usual pillow there some clothes in it should probably fill that up a bit later on anything I might change is I might I might swap it around some head ends that end because I think there's a little bit of a slope there, I'm not sure. Sort that out later. But yeah, nice simple setup. Really pleased with that. Ah, oh, that's better. Looked like it took ages to set up. I think I've been here a good hour and a half or so. Got the Tranger cook system with me this weekend. Gonna do most of my cooking on this over the weekend. Got a nice titanium plate that nests on top of it. It's the Life Venture plate. And this is a Tranger 27, which I haven't used much of late, but it is a really nice cook set. So I think it's time for a cup of tea, folks. Got some beers for later, of course. And for tea tonight, I think I'm gonna cook um, 
Thai green curry. Um, I've got a choice of cooking either that or I've got some bangers and mash to do as well for the second night. So I'm going to get this set up, get this sorted out and uh, have a cup of tea. Bring you back in a minute. Here comes Captain Pugwash back from his paddle. <laughs> Is that all right? just discovered that this campsite has got a uh, shop so I thought it would be rude not to. Cheers. Lovely. One of the things that's really good when you come to um, these sorts of campsites is that you can just sit and watch other people set up their shelters. Ideally, it's like a husband and wife sometimes, and they have a real right old Barney argument, and it all kicks off. But oh no, we bloody don't! <laughs> but it's but Mick, I think knows what he's doing. He's done. It's a new he's tent done. for him, <laughs> but. This could be quite comical, folks. <laughs> Nick's got himself a new teepee. Hardy high campers, so it's about that time again. Time to get some dinner on the go. And tonight, I'm gonna do Thai green curry. Got some Thai style rice, a bit of butter to cook it in, some chicken that I've got to cut up, mushrooms, monge toot, monge toot, rodders, monge toot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook that all up on the, the tranger. But first of all, Got to do a bit of prep, cut the chicken, slice up the uh, mushrooms, and then basically follow the instructions on this, which is pretty simple. So I'm going to get that going. I'm disappointed you haven't bought your boat, mate. Me? Hey. Honestly, I, I say to Dave, I can't. Right, 
folks. Curry's done. And uh, just heating the rice up now. Using the curry as a lid for that rice pot. It's looking nice though. Mm. That is lovely. <coughs> well, folks, it's beer o'clock. Mostly head, I think. <laughs> Cheers. Do love a drop of left. folks all tucked up in bed that was quite a pleasant evening actually had a nice dinner a few beers catching up with friends I've got to say this is a really nice campsite really enjoying this and uh, it's really nice to be back in this tent as well really like this tent so, I think it's going to be quite a damp night, not, not so much in rain but in condensation, there's a lot of moisture outside, so it should be interesting in the morning, but looking forward to uh, getting up, having a nice breakfast, nice cooked breakfast, looking forward to that, then who knows what the day will bring thereafter we'll see but I'll bring you along so good night I'll see you in the morning morning campus but quite it's quite a uh, damp and chilly night last night lots and lots of dew on the ground and condensation in the tent but um yeah, it was a pleasant night though and i got out of the tent and there's a, a very light frost on the um on top of the tarp as well so just walked away from camp because i'm first up Everyone else is still asleep, all down there. But top, top tip when staying on um, campsites such as this, where you're sharing the um, the facilities with tens and well, lots and lots of people, is I find it quite advantageous to get up first, and that way you don't have to wait for the toilets. Get your business done. Happy days. But it's just coming up to 7am, 
sun sunrise is at 7.03 or something and look at that view should be rising over there somewhere but it is stunning absolutely stunning um, I've got up early for uh, two purposes primarily um, to see the sunrise and uh, I thought there might be a chance that I could get another glimpse of um, a barn owl flying around this marsh here. I saw two barn owls last night hunting around this field or this marsh, whatever it is. And um, I thought there might still be a chance it would be out. It would be out at sunrise. So keep the eyes peeled. And also hoping today to spot some uh, kingfishers around here because this waterway looks like it is perfect kingfish kingfisher territory. What a treat though, what a treat. So yeah, got a nice easy day ahead. Uh, gonna cook a nice breakfast or brunch. Got some bacon and eggs and whatnot. Got sausages as well, but I'm saving them for tea tonight. So I'm gonna do bangers and mash. Uh, got a slightly fuzzy head because I drank a little bit too much last night. <laughs> There you go. Got a bit carried away. <laughs> but what joy. What joy. It is lovely. Well, I've just been filming a time lapse folks of the sunrise so hopefully if that's come out all right that'll be in the footage but have a look at that absolutely beautiful stunning cheers folks RDI campers, so got the fire going just for a bit of warmth. But the sun is blazing now, so it's warming up quite quickly. So, gonna have some breakfast, I think, and um, got some bacon, some streaky bacon, some mushrooms, some eggs. I'm gonna cook that in the trangia with a bit of butter. Um, I've got some uh, bagels as well. But I'm not sure we're going to have them yet. We'll see. But yeah, get a cook on. Well, there you go, folks. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get the eggs right, but. Hey ho, you can't, you can't have everything, can you? Don't forget to splice the main brace. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Enjoy. Enjoy a bit. So that was the uh, the two Tims just heading off on the canoes. There's a pub up yonder, so I think that's the destination.
So, um, yeah. it's about to go down, folks. It's about to go down. It's time for conquers. Gonna have some fighting to the death. Oh, the high campers. Let me get you out of the sun. So, we'll set up a camp. Dean's arrived today. A couple of the fellas have just got back from paddling on the canoes. And uh, what we're going to do now, in a, in a few moments, is have a, uh, a conquer battle. Anyone who uh, of a certain age will remember playing conquers. Always in the beginning of autumn, the, uh, the conquers fall from the horse chestnut trees over here in Britain. And we battle out, have a battle royale with the conquers. Used to be uh, the thing to do in the school playground. But I think it's been stopped nowadays by uh, health and safety zealots and what have you. Um, but I thought I um, offered out a few of the fellas at this camp to a fight, conquer fight, and uh, they're up for it. So let battle commence. Let's see how it pans out. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. Might as well do that now. Oh, okay. Are yeah, you yeah. filming this? Yeah, I'm filming. Mm. Right, and he's got a pipe. He's got a pipe in the mouth. It means business. I'll just do it before you start. We spoke about rules a minute ago. Yeah, Take a turn each. Yeah. But if if one of you windmills your opponent's conquer and you're hit, you yeah. get a, you get another go. So if you want to, if, if, if you uh, windmill it, yeah, like that, right. you get another go. Oh, okay. Which you will probably, won't you? No. Oh, that was a. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh I'm useless at this, isn't I? <laughs> so I, I never always done. I never done. I never done. Oh, he's Ooh. a bit of an expert. He's been oh, practicing. What's going on here, Tim? I've got a crack to crack crack his nose. Cracked it, mate. You. <laughs> right, maybe well, just no, not as much power, but a bit more. Yeah. Precision. That's not hurting good. your leg, though. What? This is going to go. Is that <laughs> not hurting your leg? No, why? <laughs> 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 oh, we have a winner. Right. The winner stays on then. That was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> this one could be a long one. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you went straight for the kill on that one. Look at that. Wanna? Where's your gimmick? Hang on a minute. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. You yeah. go first. Go on then. No, no, just go for it. Stand right here because I'm filming. Oh, okay. Right. It goes up to the conker. And wax it. Oh. <laughs> what happens there? I was too using the cell phone then, didn't I? That was a bit of a fire. strategy going on there. I'm sat in back here, actually. Oh, that's a windmill, that's a windmill that's a isn't it? One. Yeah, that windmill. was a windmill. Yeah. Windmill. Windmill. Oh, don't oh, lick, lick it. it. What's all that about? Oh, oh it's tactics, oh, isn't it? Can I get a, a adjudicator, there. please? Get some slippage. Oh, another windmill. Another windmill. Oh, Varley's, Varley's going for the close contact. Yeah, yeah. it's working, though. No? Get more shots. Tactical. Was that a windmill? Yeah. Yeah. There's a windmill. Oh, two windmills. Come on, Mick. I'm cracking Come on, up windmill, there. Mick. Is that another windmill? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit confused on the windmill, non-windmill well, situation, let's, let's, to be honest. Let's, let's, let's let Mick go then. I've got a crack on mine. Hang on a minute, I'm holding it too. Mick's, Mick's got some kind of caggy handedness going on. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, that almost went for the nuts, that one, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's got oh, some special way yeah, of doing it. Let's pack my one up, look. <laughs> it's still in there though, isn't it? It's still going. Come on, keep going. Make sure you feel. Yes! Yes! yes. Well done, Barn. <laughs> I hope you win in the final. Oh, exactly. So what do we do now then? He so, goes with one of these two winners. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? It's three of us. Yeah. Also, you two playing. 
I'll play the winner. Come in, do that. Who's going first, mate? Mine's got a crack in I don't think mine's going to last long. No, mine's got a crack in it. <laughs> the team is the beast. Uh, was that a windmill? Yeah, no, that it was, was a windmill. Uh, yeah, it was. No, it was. It was uh, windmill, I think that windmill thing's a load of crap. <laughs> no, that is true. That's a good, good roll there. Oh, oh, oh. He moved it. He moved it. Did he move it? Moved Shut it. up. <laughs> I saw that. He moved it. <laughs> oh, everyone says that. Whoa. Oh, look, you're cracking. <laughs> well, here we go. All right, it's going to go now. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> New I'm like, I am used to this here. What? Well, right, it's going to go on this one. Oh, oh yeah. you got it oh, right oh, on the spot. Look at you that. Barney, it's a beast, isn't it? That one. It's a beast. No, that means that Tim is sporting a tour. A tour. I think that gives you the honours then, doesn't that, it? Okay, I'll, yeah. go, I'll go tour. Ooh, Ooh that's that a good contact. Good. It's cracking up. Well, hey, surprise, cracking look at the size of it. Yeah. I knew it was going to go at some point. Oh, oh no, it's all right, it's all right. Oh. Is that a tactic? Yeah, that, that, no, it's a retake, that, that, isn't it? No, is that, you let no, go no. of it, though. I didn't. No, I took it out of my hand. Snag. That's good contact. I just let go of it, then. Oh. Timing. Right. This could go on mine here. Oh, oh you've done it! Oh, <laughs> no, no it's still going, still going. Oh, can you still? That's going to come I'm off now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get this straight in the teeth. Ah! <laughs> 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 it had it. There we go. Well done, Varley. Yeah, well, well done. done. Congratulations. Thank you. Only a conquer. Conquerness. To be fair, though, that makes us both winners because we're both two us. Right. Yeah, but you're all three of them. But my two is, no, my two is dead. Thank so you. which one buys the beer? That's the thing. That's uh, yours. <laughs> yeah. Can, you oh, just, oh, can oh, we oh, just oh, have oh, a little oh, go on these uh, back? There we go then, folks. Conkers and uh, victorious. Although, credit also to uh, Tim. We both had two victories out of that. So, all good. But the most important thing was that the Kent Conkers reigned supreme over the... Uh, Cambridge and Suffolk conquers. So, yeah, I'm taking that as a victory. All good fun, though. All good fun. So, folks, the four conquers are doing a bit of uh, whittling on the spoon that I'd started a while back and got it finished, giving it a bit of a burnish and a uh, nice bit of oil to seal it. And uh, quite pleased with that one. I think that one's going to be a keeper. Feels very nice, long handled. So I might put that one to work. Mm. Hardy oh. High campers. So just had a bit of a change around with the camp set up because. Um, wind's starting to pick up um, as the evening progresses. Uh, it's five o'clock now and uh, sort of gusting over 30 mile an hour through the night, I think. So I've taken the tarp down so that that's not flapping about all night. So I don't really need it anyway, there's no rain forecast. So yeah, just shifted the tent around a little bit and uh, had a tidy up. Got dinner on the go now, so uh, for tea tonight. I've got some uh, Lincolnshire sausages, a bit of a uh, mashed potato, Idaho and bubble and squeak mash, and some mushy peas. Lovely jubbly. So, just got some water on the boil for the mash. Um, then I'll get the sausages cooking, and I'll bring you along. Yeah. I 
Hardy High Campers. So I'm tucked up in the, uh, the tent now for the night. I'll just put a kettle on to boil some water. So I'm going to have a hot chocolate, I think, to finish the night. But uh, I haven't done much filming this evening, so I apologise for that. But I have me, me bangers and mash for tea, which is probably one of the last clips I showed on my film. And uh, then just sat around the fire, I had a beer, chatted with the fellas, had a good laugh. It was good, good chatting. But yeah, still pretty early, it's only half nine, so retired to the tent for a brew and uh, chill out for a bit and get some beddy buys but it's uh, a bit warmer tonight than it was last night so which is quite nice quite still a bit of moisture in the air though the tent is quite quite damp already with condensation but i've got the door open while the uh, the kettle was on just to help with ventilation yeah, really do like it inside this tent. It's a small two person backpacking tent, but you feel like you have so much space. I've got my uh, sort of Robins uh, chair to sit on in here, so I've got a nice bit of back support. It's really quite comfortable. Loving life. Yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. Cheers, folks. That's lovely. Do enjoy a nice hot chocolate when I'm camping. Very nice. I'm going to drink this. I'll see you guys in the morning, I think. campers good morning well it was a lovely night's sleep that was I really enjoyed that uh, don't think I snored so much either so my campmates probably uh, appreciated that but, uh, really comfortable in a tent I always enjoy sleeping in a tent it's like a little cocoon of luxury um, and yeah just been starting to pack up had a cup of tea and uh, be heading off Bright and early this morning, I've got a long drive home. Uh, but it's such a beautiful part of the world up here. Um, it's like really quiet as well. And watching it was watching the barn now again fly around this uh, sort of marshland here, this field, um, and it's just beautiful, beautiful to watch. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. So. This is probably a, um, a shorter video than my usual uploads, but I'll get it uploaded um, as soon as possible in any, in any case. And uh, I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think. But I'm going to carry on packing up and then hit the road. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. And um, it won't be long either. I'll be back out again in two or three weeks later on this month. Getting two camps in this month. And also... Sorry for not bringing you a uh, Barney's Biscuits and Brews. Um, things, I just got carried away with uh, chatting with the other fellas at camp and playing Conkers as well. So hope you enjoyed the Conkers feature instead. <laughs> but my, my next camp in October, um, I'll be 
be somewhere very nice hopefully um, down in the west country on the holiday and uh, I will bring you some glorious biscuit reviews from a glorious location in the next video that's for sure so I'll bid you farewell and I'll see you in the next one bye for now leaving folks and also I wanted to say thanks to uh, the fellas I was catching up with this weekend Tony, Dave, two Tims, Rough Timber and Tim G, Mick for organising and of course Dean as well. Great to see all the fellas, some good last round of fire and uh, yeah good times. See you on the next one folks.